You know, when I went off into college, I can distinctly remember sitting in organic chemistry lab and going pre-med, 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 pre-med. I don't want to hang out with these people the rest of my life. And so that was the end of my pre-med career. Got into dental school. The dental school was actually about 15 miles away from the main campus of SIU Edwardsville. And my now wife, Elaine, was a nursing student there. And one of her roommates knew one of my roommates and a big snowstorm was rolling in and they decided to have a party. So being young and intelligent that we were, we piled a bunch of us into a Volkswagen bug and drove the 15 miles through snowy, unpassable roads that they had closed down and went to this party. So lo and behold, there she was. We stood there all night long and talked. And since then, she'll probably say, I haven't said more than five or 10 words since. Elaine's been at my side the whole time. She has been really supportive of whatever direction I wanted to take the practice. And I couldn't have done it without her. Growing up, I don't really remember my dad doing much anything but work. I don't really remember him being at many of my games or swim meets or things like that. And I kind of decided that I would try to be present for my kids as much as I could. We just put them as a priority. We live very close to the practice so that I could make all their little league games, their soccer games, ballet recitals, all those things. We set the practice up specifically to allow that to happen. It took a lot of work to get the practice going. I started from scratch, got really busy, and found myself not enjoying the dentistry. And so I think that was the beginning of realizing that I didn't really want to practice by other people's standards, by the given convention of what a successful practice was. I wanted to find my own success. Dentistry is a physical game. Treat your body as a pro athlete would because dentistry takes its toll. The biggest thing is energy level, eyesight, and then arthritis. And so I just realized that maybe getting into something a little less physical might be better on the body. Elaine finally at one point said, you've been talking for years about teaching. You know, if you don't do it pretty soon now, you may be too old to be hired by anybody. So I started debating selling the practice at that point in time. We put the practice on the market at the end of March and we closed 1st of August and started applying for teaching positions. I had never really been exposed to the idea of passive income. When I first found out about David, I'd been primed with the idea of passive income. And then it came into, here's a group that actually shows you and tells you how to do it and educates you. Free for Life for me is primarily peace of mind. The traditional model of retirement is save up enough money, fill the bucket to the top, and then open the spigot and hopefully you don't open it too much and that when you get to the end that there's still enough to cover the final expenses. And free now means never having to worry about that. Free means I know that bucket is filling in from the top at least at the same rate that I'm taking out at the bottom, that to me has given me so much peace of mind that it's actually made working and teaching fun. It's the freedom to do what I want. And I've got a fabulous partner in Elaine to be able to do all those things with. Right now, I am really having fun on a second chapter. When I walked out of the practice, a switch went off and I no longer have to do dentistry. I no longer have to call myself a dentist. I now can call myself a teacher. And I'm having so much fun doing that, that as I look ahead, I know there's gonna be a third chapter. I just don't know what it's gonna be. Elaine and I absolutely love to hike. We love to travel. I'm gonna be doing my first backpacking trip in about 26 years. If I can do it, 
a goal of mine is to actually take a leave of absence from school and take six months and hike the Appalachian Trail. I don't have dead set plans. I don't even know if I'm going to stay in North Carolina. We may find some place totally different and travel. I don't know, but you know what? That's the fun thing about it. I get to pick. <laughs> <laughs>